What's going on guys? It's John and I'm back with a quick update for you. Now, um, just want to say uh, thanks so much for clicking on this video to find out how you guys can be praying for us week in and week out. We really appreciate that. Um, now, with that said, let me just share how things went this past week. Uh, there's a couple of things to uh, thank God for and a couple of things to pray for. Um, the first thing on my mind, actually, uh, is uh, this past week was a bit of a rough one. And that's because, uh, for some of you who may not know, I'm studying theology on the side at YouthWorks College. And uh, this week I had a really big uh, portfolio that was due. It was 50% of my mark. And uh, that was just stressful as I was working on it throughout the whole week. Uh, but thank God that's finally uh, done and submitted. I'm really glad that I'm doing this course because there are so many things that I'm learning that help uh, me just be able to teach the Word uh, more clearly and just better uh, for the students. Uh, so praise God for that. Um, but anyways, uh, on to the classes. Um, I'm happy that uh, this week I was able to finally start my lessons at Chester Hill High School. Um, we had about 10 new uh, students enroll into the course, and so praise God for that. Really happy that we got the ball rolling, and so thank you for those of you who are praying for that. Um, in other news, uh, school uh, or classes at Sefton uh, went all right. Um, nothing too uh, out of the ordinary there. Just uh, continue your prayers. Um, oh, there was one praise point. Um, we got one of the new students who I had never met, who had, hadn't come to class, but their name had been on the roll every single week. Um, that student finally came to class, so it was a privilege to get to meet them. Um, just pray that going forward, they can uh, jump right in. We're already in the middle of going through, uh, yeah, the Gospel of Mark, uh, but pray that they're not so far behind uh, with that and the stuff we looked at Term 1, that they're not able to, um, yeah, catch up and really uh, fit in with the other students. I'm not sure what their background is uh, with Scripture, um, but just, uh, yeah, thank God that we finally got them uh, onto the, uh, the roster. Now, um, there is a bit of sad news, and uh, that's at uh, Bass High School. I mentioned in my last update that I had only one student uh, show up to class out of the five who were on the roll, but unfortunately, that one student seems to have withdrawn. And so uh, there's still a couple more that are on the, uh, the roll, um, but pray uh, that they wouldn't also get cold feet and decide to withdraw from the class as well. I've only met two of uh, the other students um, on uh, a couple of occasions, um, but pray that we can still keep that class going as Bass High has just been a school that, um, yeah, uh, it's been a bit of concern about just knowing how in previous years we had heaps of students and uh, this year there's not too many. So um, negotiations are still ongoing for Bass High School and I just appreciate your prayers and support uh, that going forward we might be able to retain some of the upper class students um, because those are the ones that I really have, uh, yeah, much deeper relationships uh, with and it's, uh, yeah, it was really a joy getting to see them for part of last year and it'd be great to see them uh, this year again. So please lift up Bass High in, uh, in your prayers. In other news, I just want to share a few prayer points for Christine French. Um, she had a lesson at Condal Park High School last week, and I know that I mentioned in other videos uh, that there was some difficulty at that school with getting her a classroom, but she finally did get a classroom, um, although she had a hard time maintaining students' attention uh, because her class was separated by like a paper-thin wall, and there was another class on the other side, and students were getting distracted. Anyways, um, praise God and thank you so much for praying that she was able to get another classroom. Um, but there's another prayer point that's kind of come out of that in that I think the period had to move to accommodate her. Um, but as a result, uh, the new period is happening at the same time as gym class. And so uh, what that means for Christine is that some of the boys she was expecting went to gym and didn't come to scripture. So please pray that doesn't become an ongoing issue and that she's able to get yeah, some of those students back on a regular basis. Um, another prayer point uh, for Christine is actually at uh, Birong Girls High School. Now, uh, in the past, um, in another video, I mentioned uh, that there were some students who were asking some pretty unique questions, um, and many of them surrounding the person of Jesus. Now, um, Christine rocked up uh, just prepared to answer some of those questions, but it seems one of the key girls who uh, had been asking quite a few of those questions was on office duty. So I just pray that when she gets back uh, next week um, that Christine will be uh, yeah, equipped um, and will be able to lovingly just walk her through what the scriptures teach about Jesus in a way that's not too confrontational um, or isn't going to be um, more than the uh, girl will be able to just uh, yeah, comprehend in uh, one lesson. So just please pray for the whole situation, and um, we thank you so much for your prayers as they're getting answered, and it uh, seems God's just giving us, uh, yeah, more reasons to petition Him. All right, so with that said, it's about time to bring this video to a close. Thanks so much for watching this video, as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next update.